those hairy confronting conversations on those last 10 yards of the deal. Even when someone is telling you something that's like offensive or it's rubbing you up the wrong way, but you're in on that last 10 yards of the deal is like, like putting your ego to the side of being right and just navigating towards what you need to do in order to get the deal done. And it's a lot, it's a lot always in that last 10, 20 miles on the deal that most salespeople get frustrated or they just quit and they just give up because they feel like that they're repeating themselves and it's just like a broken record and they've already addressed these objections with the person over and over again or they feel like the person is ghosting them or not doing the right things and then they either stop calling them or their tonality changes and they start to get frustrated in the deal and the deal runs away and they lose. I've given this guy everything I've got and he's still not closing. Like what else does he want from me, right? Um, and, and, and if you if you get into that state, like that's just where you, you won't close the deals because where the deals are closed is where no one is willing to go. Like that last 10 yards is the least crowded because no one's willing to go. No one's willing to set up five weeks worth of conference calls in order to get the deal done. Or even if they are willing to do that, which is like 1% of salespeople, they'll blow the deal because on the third week of doing it, they'll be like, they'll start to get frustrated. Like, what else is it that you guys need? Like, do you know what I mean? It starts to come across in the way that they carry themselves. Um, so like for those deals, like for, for instance, like the deal that you did, that was a five week deal. Brock said that he's, he's follow up on that guy for three fucking years and just closed him out, do you know what I mean? But the thing that like, I think is really important to look at is just helping that person solve a problem or helping them get to a situation where you can help them, even if they're like not a person that you get along with, at the end of the day, you're trying to be put into a position where you can win, and that's with converting as many people into customers as possible. You can go into a deal and be dealing with multiple stakeholders that all have problems and objections with things that you know that you're not gonna be able to change contract lengths, direct debits, all of these other things, right? And it's just your ability to not lose sight of that and still like really just grab the hairiest objections and wrestle them to the ground. And that's something that you, it will be a challenge for you newer guys to get done because it comes from experience, right? But being comfortable and start, that's why I say like you guys are gonna suck until you get the volume. Like you just are because you're not going to have the confidence or you're not going to know every move before you get put into that situation. And the reason that you should be getting better and better and better, even for the guys that have been here for three years, is because you just put yourself in more and more and more of those situations, right? It's like in a UFC fight, it's like when the dude gets into a guillotine on the ground, like for them not to panic, because they've already been on the mat role playing this so many times that they don't need to freak out when they get put into that situation. Um, and it's especially true of all the big deals, whether you guys are trying to like sell multiple services, SEOs, trying to do everything, you know that it's gonna be put into an uncomfortable situation. Hey guys, if you're enjoying these videos, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell button as we're dropping a video like this every other day on YouTube. And if you've got any questions, just leave a comment below with hashtag HeySubri and I'll do my best to get to it.